What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. Today we're out here on beautiful Lake Walter E. Long here in Austin, Texas, my hometown, where I grew up. This is one of my stomping grounds, one of my favorite lakes. And so I thought that, you know what, I get about a week and a half off from college fishing tournaments. I would come out here and do a little bit of a challenge for you guys, a one hour Lucky Tackle Box fishing challenge. Now what this consists of is me having one hour that is it, after I forget my rods, one hour to catch a bass out here on this lake. And so I know this lake has good fish. I know that a lot of my buddies have been crushing them out here, but I haven't been out of here for about a month. And so I don't know what kind of stage of the spawn these fish are in. I don't know if they're still pre-spawners. I don't know if there's a lot of post-spawn fish or if they're all on beds. Haven't quite figured it out yet. Of course, I have one hour to figure that out. And so we're gonna sit down here. We're gonna open up the Lucky Tackle box from March, from this month here. And we're gonna find as many of the lures as we can to rig up my rods and reels, try to catch one bass in one hour. Now what is Lucky Tackle Box, you might ask. Of course, if you've seen my boat wrap, you've seen the name all over the place, but Lucky Tackle Box is a subscription box service that I have worked for four years with now. Incredible company, love the people there. And so, so if you are a new fisherman or you want to get somebody into fishing, I would really highly suggest getting them a Lucky Tackle Box. You can use my code down in the description, the link down there for $5 off your first box. But we gotta open up this box and see what we got in here today. First bait is a live target sunfish swim bait. This actually could come into play if I find a fish on a bed um, because fish, fish on beds hate sunfish uh, eating their eggs and such. We got a cold blooded bait with VMC hooks top water. Now I would usually say it's too early in the year for top water, but considering the overcast conditions, the water is 65 and the water clarity isn't too bad. Uh, I think the top water could come into play at some point. We have a rip and lips, the dandy, <laughs> it's a good name, the dandy uh, jerk bait here. We got some Mustad 4 aught wide gap hooks. And then we've got two baits here that I think are really, really cool. And that is the Great Lakes, I don't exactly know the, the name of it. Sorry if the wind is bad. I'm assuming they use the same mold as the Skinny Dipper. It is a soft plastic swim bait and this thing could definitely come into play if these fish are biting on shad. So I have that one as well. And then another soft plastic bait, in case they don't want as much action, I have here the Primitive Fishing soft plastic swim bait. So cool, cool box. Definitely a good box this month if you are uh, fishing any sort of... Who's calling me? Who's calling me? Hello? Are you fishing? I just got out here, yes. Good idea. Okay, have a good day. All right, bye. Right. Gotta love calls from mom. But like I said, this box is a really good box if you guys are fishing reaction lures this time of the year. So, super awesome. Like I mentioned, link in the description if you guys want to save some money on your first box. But I say we get to fishing. All right, let the challenge begin. And I get out my phone here and put the timer on. We have a timer to go off in one hour, zero minutes, zero seconds. Let's choose my uh, ringtone. I like that. All right, that's the one. Three, two, one, start. And before we uh, begin, I rigged up all my rods here. We've got a little swim bait here. I actually gave a little dippy dippy in some chartreuse dip and got it on my hands, so that's always good. And then we got the jerk bait and the top water set up for now, so let us see. This is going to be a one hour speed challenge, folks. It is a very windy day today. Not ideal for sight fishing if I do find a bed, but it is ideal for moving baits. One thing that wind does is it adds a lot of stirring upness, if that's a word, to, uh, to the ecosystem, which stirs up phytoplankton, which stirs up bait fish, which of course gets those bass going. So we're gonna cover the bank a little bit, see if we can't nab ourselves a springtime Texas giant. That swim bait looks good in the water. Woo! Don't tempt me with that swim bait. It looks way too juicy in this pocket to not throw this top water. A little popper here we got in the box. Ooh, that was not the cast I had hoped for. Oh, yes it is, there we go. No way. I just had a bite on my first cast with it. I literally had a bite on my first cast. Come on, come back, buddy. Come back and eat it again. We're gonna drop the power poles. I should have my power pole switch with me. I don't know what I'm doing. Boom. Power poles dropping. Oh, god dang it. It is hard to throw a 65 pound braid, a light popper in the wind. It's not ideal. You don't want to bite. That's okay. I understand. They are not biting the top water right here. Let's go back to the swim bait. 
Come on, trolley motor. Ugh, free yourself. I've been sin that so easily entangles. Oh, am I about to be checked by the game warden? Oh, heck yeah. That'll really add some good, some good time to my challenge. I love being checked by the game warden. Yep. All right, if I get checked by this game warden, I allow myself the time to pause. I assume you're checking my license. No, I'm not going to check your license. I am with Parks and Wildlife, though. We're doing an angler survey today. Got it. I'm going to ask you a couple questions. I'll get out of your way real quick. I'm actually filming a one-hour challenge. I'm in a time crunch right now. All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I'm usually all about surveys, but i got to catch a bass in an hour. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a lie. I'm never about surveys. Is that a fish? Is that a fish? Be a fish. Oh, not a fish. It's grass. Thick grass. Oh, no way. Yes, yes. That's a giant. That is a giant. That is a giant. Holy cow. Holy cow. What the heck? I was literally pulling my bait out of the water. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. What? Am I recording? I am. That's like a six. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 I've been in a boat flip pattern lately, but I'm not boat flipping this one. Oh wow. Not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting. Come on. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bring yourself in here. Bring yourself in here. That was bad. Bad idea. Don't grab the line. Oh wow. Wow. Bring your mouth in here. Yes! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh! Did it in half the time, baby! Woo! Look at that thing. That is one torn up post-spawn bass. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, one sec. Let me let me press spot lock here real quick. Oh. Oh. Wow. That is 0% what I was expecting. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, there might be fish here. Spot lock. <sighs> wow. Look at that. That's a five pounder. It would be usually a seven pounder, but it's so skinny. Oh, man. It only got two little, two little hook points in them. Oh, wow. All right. Mr. Skinny or Mrs. Skinny post-spawn bass. Thank you for... Thank you so much for playing around in my my challenge. I'll stick this girl in the live well for a few minutes and grab a picture. Now that the challenge is complete, we're just gonna go catch some fish. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo! It was literally at the boat and I was pulling the lure out of the water. Pulling the jerk bait out of the water. And uh, she said, no, I kinda wanna eat that thing you know, right at your feet. Got him. Got him. Not a big one. Not a big one. But it's a fish on the main lake on the jerk bait. Oops. See, this fish is much more healthy. Definitely skinny, but has a very hard thump, thumpy belly. Thumpy's not a word. St chubby belly. See you, bud. They are biting the jerk bait today. I'm just gonna keep working main lake, windy areas. With the dang jerk plug, the gear that I'm throwing this jerk bit on today is my favorite little jerk bait setup. I have the Lou's Custom Speed Stick six foot nine inch square bill crankbait rod. I found that it is very good for basically all sorts of crankbaits and jerk baits, kind of my all purpose shallow cover, you know, hard bait rod. And then I have some, I believe this is 10 or 12, 12 pound fluorocarbon on here with uh, the BV1 Pro in a six, no, seven one to one gear ratio. A little bit fast for jerk baits, but, but it's the only reel that I had ready to rig up. So all of the rods and reels that I use will be down in the description below for you guys to check out. Um, I highly recommend, of course, all the loose products that I use, the AFCO clothes that I'm wearing, Lucky Tackle Box, like I, like I said, everything is in the description in every single video, not just this video. So if you guys are in the market for clothes, for rods and reels, for baits, everything that I use and recommend is linked down below. 
So check it out. How much time is left? 13 minutes? That's all I got? What? Ah, crap. There we go. Last cast. Come on, right here. Right in this moment. Right here. Do it. Eat it. Jerk it. Eat it. Jerk it. Ah. Oh. Well, the one thing I do know is that was a success. Thank you, Lucky Tackle Box Jerkbait, for getting it done today. Appreciate it. I did say this was a one hour challenge, but I've got about 20 extra minutes I can afford today to keep fishing, so, so that is what we are gonna do. See, in this case, you have to be very, very cautious because you do not want to swing and miss that fish. You want to get him right as he's sucking it in. I think he sucked it in and spit it out again. Got him. There he is. Yes. Yes. Whew. What a day. What a day that was. Completed the one hour challenge, caught some bed fish. Awesome, awesome day. Of course, if you guys wanna check out Lucky, that was bad, Lucky Tackle Box, it'll be linked in the description below, as well as all the rods and reels, all the clothing, everything that I promote is always linked down in the description. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you like this content, make sure you guys please comment that you actually like it, that way I know. Uh, and also hit the thumbs up button, and we'll see you guys on the next episode of Tyler's Real Fishing.